So what you like to add a wishlist directly into your store of the Shopify. I'm going to be showing you how to do this in a very easy way. The very first thing you want to do is to have a Shopify store. I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description so we can all get started totally for free. So now that we are here into uh, the actual Shopify store, what I wanted to do is to get started with the wishlist section. So we are now inside the dashboard. So here, what you wanted to do is to choose an actual application that can be helping us at a build in feature. So Shopify does not have a built-in wishlist features, so we needed to use a third-party application. So go into the lip pod and go for applications and go directly into the app store. So here into apps, what you can do is to uh, just type the word that you wanted to get started. Okay, so in this case, let's go for wish list and go for searched on the Shopify app store. So you will find several options like the wish list plus, uh, the wishlist king, and there's much more elements. So read the reviews and features to choose the one that best fits your needs. So what I do in order to choose a really great application is to focus into the rates, into the qualifications, and lastly into a free plan. If this one comes with an actual free plan, that's going to be a really strong and huge ally because sometimes you have an actual trial boson and sometimes it doesn't. So if I want to stick around with this actual wishlist plus for a long time, it's going to be really important to see this directly, of course, added totally for free into my store. So once you added the element that you wanted to get started with, it's going to be telling you how would you like to get started. So here, what you're going to be doing here is to choose the option that says convert guest users into customers. So I'm going to close this. And we are now inside the administrator of here into the upper side, which in the store, which is actually this one. So if you want it, you can skip this part. Now here, what I'm going to be choosing here is the option that says free forever. So now let's go here for continue. And now we are inside the actual administrator of the swing lane relay of the wish list. So usually all our actual products should be, of course, imported directly here into the application of the wish list section. So you want to check out how would you like to see the wish list button. So it's going to be appearing here as a floating button, as a have a menu item, or as a customer item, or as a navigation menu item. So that's totally optional for you guys as a navigation menu if you wanted to. And of course, later the bunch of details, what I want to do here is to add directly here to continue. So you can see that we have the custom button to add to the wishlist, add to the wishlist like this, or add to the wishlist like this, or only this button here. But in this case, I'm going to go and choose this element. So this is the part what you can do is to edit the color of the button before your user has added this directly into the wishlist. So this is before and this is after. So in this case, let's say that I choose this color and since this is the before, I select that element and check out how it actually looks. Now here into the labels, you can see that we have the add to wish list, add to wish list, of course, and the social account. Lastly here, we have the last step, which is the wish and not. Now the wish and not is like a reminder users to add the item to the wish list in the product detail page. For example, they're not sure about buying, add this product to the wish list and buy it later. So let's say I delete all of this element. So let's go for add to your wish list. Now this is totally optional, but if you wanted to upload your store logo, it's going to be a little bit much more um, easier and faster to set up the actual application. So we have now come through the wishlist application. This is the part where you wanted to add the wishlist button directly here into the product. So most wishlist applications automatically add the wishlist button to your product pages. However, it's going to be really important to mentally adjust the placement and the style by modifying the theme code into your comfortable of the HTML file, the CSS. Now, fortunately, since we are using an actual application, we needed to do this using the actual live theme editor. So just clicked into this element and automatically it's going to be sending us directly here into the editor of the Shopify. So it's going to be sending us directly here into the apt and beams. So you want to make sure that the apt and beams is now enabled here. So if this one is enabled, then just go here into saved and your actual store is actually good to go. So this is the part where you wanted to test the wishlist function. So it's important guys to test the wishlist functions to ensure everything works correctly. So visit the store as a customer would 
at your products to the wishlist and check that they are saved correctly so you can also test the customer login feature to see how saved the wishlist are managed across the devices. I wanted to make sure that it's appearing here at the wishlist. You can see that my wishlist is now being looking like this. Of course, I can edit my guest shopper um, in an account here inside my own account website, but that's truly really optional later on. So it's going to be really important, guys, to create user account creation in order to continue and to create and to give them access directly into our Shopify store. You have successfully added the wishlist directly into your Shopify store. This feature not only enhances the Shopify experience for your customers, but also provides with your valuable insights into which products are favored amongst your bestsellers. So if you find this tutorial helpful, guys, don't hesitate to like, share, and subscribe for more Shopify tips and tricks. Remember that there's a lot of applications, a lot of stuff directly here into the Shopify store created by and for your Shopify. Built, of course, for Shopify. So thank you so much for watching the video guys once again, see you on the next video.